are grateful to our sponsors, Kelly Stafford with Stafford Tree Service and also Black Cow Cow Manure. If you need your trees trimmed locally, remember Stafford Tree Service at StaffordTreeSVC.com and please visit Black Cow Cow Manure, that's K-O-W. Remember, both of the contact details are in the description below. Ah, uh, for my French friends, Violet de Bordeaux. That is the name of this fig tree. And if you are, if you've been to Paris like I have, or France, you might think of this Violet de Bordeaux. Actually, I like figs, but if you like to have something that even sounds cool, what's cooler than Violet de Bordeaux? This one, it has a nice kind of a violet red color, and you can see where they came up with the name. Figs are great. A lot of people think of figs only as fig newtons, but if you have a fig tree in your yard, and I come across people all the time who say, gosh, we raised figs up in New York State or New Jersey. Now, I will say in really cold areas, you may have to protect them, but in Southern states, where we don't get down below freezing really hard, the fig will do great here. As far as the climate, we usually say seven to 10 on the zones for this particular variety. Uh, sunlight, full sun, obviously, anything that flowers and produces fruit usually has to get pretty good sunlight or it doesn't build up enough energy. Hey, hey, you must have the energy. You must say the chicken takes a long time to cook. I heard that in Paris once, and you may have too. The, uh, and I said, I know exactly how long it takes to cook chicken. Figs, on the other hand, are kind of slow in their growth. Sunlight, I would say we said full sun to partial shade, mostly full sun. Soil, 6.0 to 6.5 on the pH. Now, they can have problems with nematodes. What are nematodes? They're microscopic eelworms that get on the roots of some plants. This is one that I really would improve the soil. A lot of mulch, a lot of peat moss, a lot of, probably put a whole bag of black cow in there to that three or four foot area of soil. Really improve it. Make that $20 soil for your $20 fig. As far as fertilizing, I would use a good slow release probably three times a year. Pruning won't really be necessary except for any dead wood or something that might be crossing each other. You could take cuttings. If you do, you're going to use a probably rutone, a little bit of endobutric acid or rutone, root hormone. Harvesting typically will be in the summer to early fall and um, they're fairly winter hardy. Um, make sure you do water it during the dry times. Doesn't need as much water as some things, especially if you add all of that organic matter that I was talking about. If you make that soil really organic, then you can cut back on your water. But someone contacted me recently and said, oh, I put a lot of organic matter out. I didn't water for a week and the thing died. Oh, well, it wasn't the, it wasn't the organic matter's fault. It's because you decided that you could put a new planting in and wait a week to water when we don't have water. So a little bit of that, or maybe a lot of that's on you. Make sure you do water during the dry times. Now I know until you get used to doing a lot of gardening, how much water is always big. The more organic matter, the less you have to water. The sandier the soil, the more you have to water. In some cases, if you're in the hot areas like Florida in the middle of summer and we don't have rain, you may have to water almost every day. And I know you can say, well, they don't allow us to water all the time. Well, if you have a handheld hose, usually you can have an exemption, a specialty for special plants, especially if you've just put them in. Keep your receipt so you can show the water police if they happen to come by. They normally don't care if you've got a watering can or you've got a hose. It's different than if you're watering and you're watering half the sidewalk and half the street. Full sun. You might want to think about having a fig tree. The fruit is fantastic. It'll give you great tasting fruit and it'll give you a bunch of it. Just do keep adding a lot of organic matter to the time and the harvesting time. We said before, late spring, early summer, 
up to fall, and it depends when the flowers come and then the fruit, and you'll have great results. We also talked about you don't have to prune much. This one is a pollinator. It's self-pollinating. Normally, a lot of figs have to have a special wasp that comes in to help pollinate it. There are some varieties like this that are self fruitful. In other words, they have both the male and female flower in that flower. So we call it passive pollination. They don't have to have the wasp like you would see on typical figs of days gone by. But that being said, if you have more than one, you'll get cross pollination and you'll get more results. You'll get more fruit. So if you can get more, more than one, remember this tree only gets to be maybe six to eight nine feet tall so it's not huge you can only have more than one in your backyard and uh, not take over the south 40. great tree to have remember the new videos will be dropping on your favorite social media platform every saturday at 10 a.m and if you like it hit the subscribe button and if you can see if you can get a couple more subscribers for me so that we can keep this process working in your behalf. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and of course if you have a picture of your fig and it's doing well or not doing so well, send it to me, care of the Ask Mr. Green Thumb site, and we will make sure that we answer your question.